guys, this is Nina back again. Like, share, and subscribe. Tonight we are talking about my opinion of how the new Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 is going so far. And honestly, in my opinion, it has not disappointed. Now I'm going to try to break down the first three episodes as much as possible. Including New Housewives... Latoya Ali and Drew Sedora. And I'm going to try to get to everything. Um, if I don't, I'll just make a second video. Alright, so we got five OGs that came back. That I've seen so far. We got Candy Burris. Kenya Moore. Cynthia Bailey. Portia. You know, and here's our newbies, Latoya Ali and Drew Sedoni. And, of course, you guys know that Nene Leakes chose not to sign. And her and Andy Cohen had a falling out. Allegedly because of contract disputes. However, I will say personally, I think Nene might actually come back in another season or two. Let's just see how this play out. However, they definitely opened on a good note. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts from the first few episodes. So it opened up, and it was basically catching up with the girls. And um, unfortunately, I mean, I know you guys probably thought she was boring, but Eva Marcel is gone. I liked her because I used to watch her on Top Model. You know, so I kind of go back in the day with Eva. However, she's no longer on this season. Marlo has made an appearance so far. And Tanya has made an appearance so far. So this is going to be interesting leading up to Cynthia Bailey's bachelorette party. But before we get into that, let's just talk about the basic details. So it seems like you have like a split in the group. I noticed that Cynthia, Kenya, and Candy are definitely hanging pretty hard this season so far. So far. Then on the other end, you have Portia and, uh, God, I can't remember her name right now. I'm just trying to sum this up. And they were hanging back. Uh, I believe they went to Tatiana Ali's, um, Home slash mansion. Had a good time. Nice little girls meeting. It seemed like, again, the group is fractured. It seemed like they're uh, waiting for the chaos to build up. And it seemed like they're building up to the bachelorette party being the big chaotic moment this season so far. I think Kenya is actually being realistic with what she is going through as far as her marriage to Mark Daly, slash separation, slash divorce. Candy seemed to be doing her own thing. Cynthia is like 150% trying to do her wedding. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but they did get married. And um, I guess everything was great, but leading up to the wedding, it's like a lot of drama. Her fiancé, Mike, wanting to get married, but accepting a smaller venue, even if it was just them two, you know, maybe one or two immediate close ones and a pastor. Cynthia does not seem to be going for that. Even though, I don't know, maybe she's just trying to make up for what happened when she was married to Peter. The other thing I want to highlight again um, they are definitely introducing these girls and everybody is clicking. Honestly, there's a lot of story going around. I don't think that this season really needs Nene's presence. I really think everybody is holding their own as, as far as bringing their own drama and messiness to the show. Um, the coronavirus, um, they had to be very clever with that, the way they shot it. Uh, kudos to how they ended up shooting it. 
Like I said, this is about to escalate with the girls. I am actually waiting for Cynthia Bailey's uh, bachelorette party. A lot of drama dropped off at that party, including alleged allegations of two women um, having relations with a stripper. Let me know what you guys think. Um, share, like, subscribe. We're three subs away from hitting 100, so let's just hit that 100. Tell me what you think. Until the next time, enjoy your evening.